My involvement with uh, queer youth programs affects my relationship with peers um, in a few ways. Um, I'd say that uh, they uh, respect my level of coolness because I am uh, up to date on kind of the newest pop culture uh, hot topics um, because of the youth. Um, I think that uh, my peers all recognize um, uh, what a special opportunity I have, and so they're extra supportive of me. Um, and um, I think that uh, running the program affects my relationship with peers. Um, also because uh, whenever they have a question or an issue um, around you know, uh, the LGBTQ community, um, they feel like they can come to me for some valuable insight or feedback. My organization, the Diversity Center, and uh, the program Strange that we co-run, um, our, you know, one of our major purposes is um, to uh, support schools and youth um, around this very issue of um, uh, making the uh, school environment safer for LGBTQ youth. Um, we do that in uh, a few different ways. Uh, we support uh, local um, GSA, QSA, Rainbow Alliances in the middle schools and high schools. Um, and um, we also have a weekly uh, meeting of a youth leadership committee um, who uh, work very hard to maintain a safe space for LGBT youth to come to and feel welcomed um, and um, meet new other people and feel less isolated, like there are other folks out there just like them. Um, within the group, they support each other and share their experiences and also learn about um, uh, the greater LGBTQ uh, equality movement, different activism campaigns and community resources and ways that they can become involved. And um, I think most importantly, um, they have been learning more about their student rights here in California and are becoming ambassadors of that information to spread out to their peers in, in their school environment. Um, I think our uh, organization, uh, the Diversity Center, in addition to what we're already doing, can um, help make uh, the community safer for LGBTQ youth by strengthening our um, uh, partnerships with other community resources that are doing the same work um, and to continue to um, educate ourselves um, around the um, different laws uh, that are in place um, regarding student rights um, and I think just continuing to um, uh, get the word out that there are a variety of different resources available in Santa Cruz County that are supporting and helping queer youth and um, doing great work to make uh, the community safer. The first time in my life that I realized my queer identity, I think would be um, in second grade, we had to do a project where we drew what we wanted to be when we grew up and I drew a mermaid. So I think that was one of the uh, <laughs> early indicators. I also um, started then to only eat fish sticks because in my mind I thought that that would kind of help me, you know, get the ball rolling. My favorite movie is such a a tough question. Um, so my favorite, one of my favorite movies um, would have to be um, The Goonies um, because I think it's a really fun, exciting adventure story about a group of um, youth who all have different strengths and weaknesses and embrace each other's uniqueness and basically form this team that sets out to save their community. Um, and so 
I definitely could say that that's one of my favorites. And I love pirates, the whole mermaid thing, pirates, you know, it's, it's all interconnected, so. My favorite color um, is that color that the surface of the ocean turns right at sunset. It's kind of that like chrome, silvery, uh, iridescent color. Um, and I love that color because um, it, depending on how you look at it, it has all of the colors wrapped up inside of it. Um, and I think that's kind of a, a cool idea.